Hey, what's up, guys? I'm BTC. Genji is getting a buff, sort of. It's kind of a bug fix, but it's also a little bit better, so I guess technically it's a buff. Oh, and they also fixed some of the stuff wrong with Mei as well. So first up, if you didn't notice over the last week or so, May has had some serious problems. She's actually been significantly weaker than what she should be. Her left click and her ultimate were not slowing anyone down. They would still do the damage that they were supposed to, but the movement slow simply wasn't there. This made it very easy for people to run away from her or to escape the ultimate. Now really, Blizzard should have put some sort of warning or an indicator in game to tell people that this was going on, but for whatever reason they didn't. But it has been fixed now, so both of those abilities will properly slow enemies that have been hit by it. Unfortunately, there's another bug with Maze Ultimate that still hasn't been fixed, and it's a pretty big problem where if you die immediately after using your ultimate, the little freezing field robot will despawn and your ultimate charge will instantly go to zero. This is different from how all the other ultimates that have some sort of a startup will work. Other heroes like Genji for example have a startup where he starts to pull his sword out and he yells angry Japanese stuff but if you kill him before he fully pulls the sword out and the ultimate startup is done then he gets refunded all of that ult charge, so he doesn't just straight lose it. But with Mei, it doesn't work like that. When she throws the little robot out, if you die right after that, then the robot disappears and she loses all of her ult charge, and, and that's it. You just don't get anything. So that's a pretty big bug that's still affecting her, and they have yet to fix that. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, because as soon as they do these updates, I'll make a video and you'll be one of the first to know. So moving on to Genji, his ultimate will be changing pretty soon. Over on the official Overwatch forums, principal designer Jeff Goodman talked about the change. He said, Before the last major patch, the amount of sword swings you could get changed depending on your latency. Strangely, if you had higher latency, you could swing more often. This bug was fixed, which caused some players to suddenly get less swings than they were used to. Looking into this bug in more detail, the ping threshold before you could gain an extra swing was somewhat low, so many people probably got used to the 7 swings rather than 6. With that in mind, we're going to increase his swing speed overall, so he'll gain that 7th swing back for all players, regardless of latency. I'm not entirely sure when we can get that update into the player's hands, but we'll make sure it's in the patch notes when it hits. Sorry for the confusion. So this change isn't just going to give him that extra swing. It's also going to speed up the damage that he deals during the ultimate. Now, it doesn't mean that he's going to be swinging the sword at lightning speed, but it does mean that enemies are now going to have slightly less time to deal with the Genji or to escape before he's actually able to put a lethal amount of damage on them. His ultimate is still going to be fully countered by Lucio and Zenyatta ultimates, so long as your support is ready, you should be able to deal with it pretty easily. You know, ever since Overwatch came out, it's had issues with latency, netcode, and favor the shooter stuff. So the problem with Genji's ultimate being related to the latency and the ping of the player really doesn't come as much of a surprise. My question though is, why are they determined to tie his ultimate to a timer? If Blizzard really wanted a Genji player to have a set number of swings, then why don't they simply make it so that when you activate your ultimate, you get that number of swings? After you've used them up, Genji puts the sword away. If you do that, it doesn't matter if the player has good or bad latency. And you don't have to do some sort of silly workaround by speeding up the ultimate, which is probably going to cause more problems in the future. You would probably still need a timer just to prevent people from activating the ultimate and then holding on to it, but you can make that a little bit longer, like let's say 10 seconds. Basically, the ultimate would last for 7 swings or 10 seconds, whichever comes up first. Again, Blizzard gets to control the exact number of swings, and it doesn't matter if the person is lagging or not, they still get to use them all. Because I'm thinking that if Blizzard decides to change the duration of Genji's ultimate in the future, 
I have a feeling they're gonna run into this very same problem again, and it's probably gonna result in them having to mess around with the speed of the swings once more. It's not really that big of a deal, but I think by tying the ultimate to a set number of swings instead of the timer, Blizzard could probably save themselves a headache in the future. But anyways, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to check out the Discord server where you can join the community and find other players. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also, thanks to all my Patreon supporters for help making this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting, click the link on screen or down below.